Bonnie, Clyde, and gang member Henry Methvin wait for a visit from friends and relatives. I'm thinking about sending my poem to Chew Detective Magazine. The one titled, The End of the Line. I like your stories. We always die in your stories. And then you go down in a blaze of glory. How about we live in a blaze of glory? Two patrolmen, officers Wheeler and Murphy, spot the parked car and investigate. It's the law. Wake up. Hey, Clyde, what do you want to do? Clyde probably wanted to capture them because they didn't have their guns drawn. It would have been easy. Let's take them. But Methvin tragically misunderstands Clyde's intentions. Fool, I didn't mean kill him. Two sets of eyewitnesses claim to have seen the shooting. The first group tells a story that seems to implicate Methvin, who stands a head taller than Clyde. And they testified that there were two men who did the shooting and that the taller of the two men then walked up and shot one of the policemen again as he was laying on the ground. Oh. Get back in the car. 